Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to buy some Cardano or ADA cryptocurrency. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of interest now in Cardano. It's one of the hot new cryptocurrencies. So I thought it would be a good time to do a walkthrough on how to purchase this. Uh, I must stress that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just kind of a how-to guy. I've been uh, dealing with Bitcoin for many years now. And so I know how this stuff works and like to kind of spell it out for you. So let's get started, guys. All right, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Bittrex and I'm going to buy the Cardano and then I'm going to move it into the Cardano wallet. So uh, I'm going to take you here. Uh, this is the Cardano website. It is a new cryptocurrency based on Ethereum. Uh, it's built on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. Um, I believe it has its own blockchain, decentralized public blockchain. Okay, but it is, uh, you know, it evolved from Ethereum and uh, it's one of the hot up and coming um, cryptocurrencies. So uh, what we want to do is get the wallet over here, uh, Deadus, Deadalus, Deadalus, is that, a, it must be a word for uh, bull, right? Uh, yeah, it doesn't, oh. A craftsman considered the inventor of carpentry, who is said to have built the labyrinth for Minos, king of Crete. Minos imprisoned him and his son Icarus, but they escaped using wings that Daedalus made and fastened with wax. Icarus, however, flew too near the sun and was killed. Okay, so now we know who Daedalus was. And uh, I hope none of you fly too close to the sun. Okay, all right. So uh, let's get this wallet. Now I know uh, in my videos, I do a lot of uh, software verification, cryptographic verification. Uh, they don't have any of those tools here. So we go to download and we're taken to this page here and uh, we choose Windows and it just basically downloads. They don't have any um, SHA some hashes for me to uh, verify or any uh, developer signatures or SIG files or anything like that. So you've all been spared that uh, distraction today. Uh, so if there's nothing I can do to verify it, the only choice I have is to uh, download it. All right. Uh, I'm going to choose Save As, and uh, I believe I already have this guy downloaded on my computer. But uh, just for... Uh, keeping things organized. Uh, we'll call this Cardano. Make a new folder on the fly and save. All right. And we can uh, view the downloads. Oh yeah, open the folder. Oops. Hold this over here. Okay. So there it is. That's the installer. We're going to run the installer. Now, I already have this installed, so uh, I'm just going to show you the opening screens here. Um, actually, I hope I'm not overriding my old one. <laughs> that would be a drag, huh? Okay. All right, so uh, I already have it installed on my computer. Uh, and here it is on my desktop. Let's uh, double click this guy. Launch. Okay, so when you first launch uh, Daedalus, you're going to see this connecting to network. And after you get that, you're going to see the syncing blocks. Yours is going to start at zero. And it's going to take quite a while. Uh, mine took several hours, okay? And as you can see, there's some money in there already in my wallet but what you're going to be presented with uh, once it does the full sync is this interface you're going to see this come up and you're what you're going to want to do is do a create wallet 
and you want to name it something. We'll call this uh, trading. Whoops. Come on, Rex. Trading wallet. Okay, and you're going to want to activate this guy over here, right? You want to put a password in, make it a good one. <laughs> I'm slipping. Hmm? Okay, so once we've entered the password twice, we're going to go create personal wallet. And uh, then it's going to uh, present you with this recovery phrase, which is very important. And we're going to click continue and there's the recovery phrase. Now this is very important. You'll want to write this down. Okay, so it asks, it, I tell it yes, I wrote it down. So it wants to know the order that uh, I created, uh, that it gave me these, which is pretty simple. Okay, so now we, uh, you know, we uh, agree to these things. This is very important. Uh, the wallet and tokens are held securely on this device only. Okay, so if you forget your password, you're basically screwed. You can set, you can restore from seed. You don't have to have the password to restore from seed. So uh, that is one way around the forgot my password problem. Okay. I understand that if in this application is moved to another device or is detect deleted, my wallet can only be recovered with the backup phrase that I have just written down and saved in a secure place. So let's confirm. And boom, there we go. We've got our wallet. So we set up the wallet and uh, basically want, want to know about uh, how we get some money into it. It's going to be the same thing. We're just going to click receive and we're going to generate an address here. And we're going to either scan the QR code or uh, copy this address. There's a little copy feature here that I can click that's going to copy the address to my clipboard. So basically, I need to go to my online account and do a withdrawal from my uh, ADA wallet into this. Okay? And we'll go through that in a minute, just in case uh, someone else did. Okay. So here we are. Uh, what I want to do is go to Wallets. I'll point out on uh, Bittrex that if I go to ADA here and I want to buy some ADA, I need Bitcoin. And as you can see, I don't have any Bitcoin available in this account for purchase. Uh, but if I did, I would click Max and then uh, choose uh, your uh, purchase strategy du jour. I usually do last and uh, buy ADA, okay? And that will uh, allow you to purchase ADA as long as you've got this account funded with Bitcoin. So uh, now I have uh, money in my ADA wallet, okay? Uh, I've got ADA in my wallet and I wanna bring it over to uh, the Daedalus wallet. Okay, so basically what I do is I go over here to the minus, right, and I put in the address of the wallet. So uh, we go over here. I'm just going to click that little puppy, and we're going to put it here, paste, and how much uh, ADA do I want to send? Let's say I want to send that. All right. All right, and then we click withdrawal. Now, I'm not going to do it this time because, uh, as I told you, I'm not going to send to that particular wallet because uh, I've already shown you the seed. So I think I've taken you far enough along in this process to show you how to withdraw. So let me show you how that works on uh, Binance. Very similar. Well, I guess I have to go to Exchange. I do uh, ADA BTC. Uh, if it's not up here, I just uh, type in ADA. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that all, all that is. Okay, and then we put in the amount. Uh, I can't buy any because I don't have any Bitcoin in this account right now. And then I click buy ADA. All right. And once I've done that, I can go over here to uh, funds, deposits, withdrawals. And I'll check my ADA wallet, which is up here. 
and uh, there should be some balance in there. Let's say there's 100 ADA in there. Then I would do a withdraw. All right. And the withdraw address. Go back over here. Do a copy. And we'll go back here to the browser. There. All right. I don't believe that I used a label uh, when I uh, did my ADA withdrawal before. Uh, I just put in the address and the amount, which uh, of course it will not let me do. Even max, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but this is the interface. I wanted to show you the interface. All right. And that is how we would withdraw ADA. Okay, so basically, I'll go through it one more time. We uh, go to our wallet, we do a receive, and it generates the sending address, the public address of the wallet. We can uh, copy that into the clipboard. We go to our online uh, account, and we go over here to uh, funds, deposits, withdrawals. We go to our ADA wallet, which at this point should have some in there if we purchased it and we do withdrawal okay and let's see what it's got here yeah we paste in the address all right don't worry about the label and then we put in the amount all right and then we click submit now i would like to stress this do not buy a bunch of ada like 500 bucks worth of ada and then just willy-nilly transfer it over into your cardano wallet Please, please, please just start with a small amount to confirm that everything worked out okay for you before you just willy-nilly throw all of your money out there onto the blockchain uh, mysterious internet, okay? You're going to drive yourself crazy. Start with a small amount. Make sure that it works. Now, uh, what I'm going to show you now is uh, in the Cardano wallet, we'll look at my storage wallet here. So, uh, as you can see, uh, there was some, uh, I sent some Cardano to this wallet yesterday from my Binance account. Pardon me, from my Bittrex account. So let's go back up here. Uh, this is Bittrex. Let's go over here to wallets. And uh, as you can see, there's still some uh, ADA in my account. Um, and down here is the uh, transaction where I sent some ADA yesterday. What I basically did was I sent 100, uh, I put 100 in the field and then it automatically subtracted the, the uh, network fee for me. So uh, in reality it was only about 99.8. Um, now let's take a look at that transaction, okay? So as you can see here I've got the date but I don't have the timestamp. But I do have the address and uh, I guess this uh, TXID so uh, let's take this address uh, and just kind of look at it. Let's see here. Uh, this is my wallet. And if I do receive, yeah, the, the, the address is still the same. I guess I could generate new ones. I haven't tried that yet. But it's much longer than a Bitcoin address. But uh, now there is a, uh, an explorer here. So let's try that. And I will point out that that transaction where I sent 100 ADA into the uh, Daedalus wallet, uh, it took a good, mm, I'd say about six hours, which is not bad compared to some of these Bitcoin and Litecoin transactions. But it, it took quite a while, okay? Uh, let's see here. I believe they've got a Block Explorer. Yay! Very similar to blockchain.info and uh, etherscan.io. There's a block explorer which allows you to uh, check transactions on the Cardano blockchain. So we're going to paste in that sending address. We're going to click search. And lo and behold, there's the transaction that occurred yesterday. Uh, let's see here. Well, it has that the... Uh, transaction went out its timestamp was uh 451 i'm not sure which uh time zone they're in 
Uh, but uh, from my, uh, I believe it was around 2 p.m. my time. So they're, they're a couple hours off time frame wise. And then uh, as you can see over here in the summary, it tells me that the transaction came in at 8.51 p.m., which is close to 9 o'clock. So uh, from 2 p.m. to 8.51 p.m., it's about 2 to 9. So about seven hours it took for the money or the ADA to actually show up in the wallet. Okay. Now, uh, you'll also notice that the bulk of my ADA is on the Bittrex site. Uh, okay, so I'm just kind of keeping it there. Uh, in case I decide to sell it, it'll be easier. You know, every time we move uh, cryptocurrency back and forth, we incur network fees, uh, service charges, and all that other stuff. If you just want to store your cryptocurrency, by all means, put it in your own wallet. That is the best way to, to hold your cryptocurrency in your own private wallet for your own storage and for spending too. So if you want to buy something with cryptocurrency, then it's best to sort of keep it in your own wallet. And you can... So uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Please subscribe. And uh, when you subscribe, there's a little uh, bell next to the subscribe button that will alert you whenever I post a new video. So be sure and click that too. Once again, Crypto Dad out. Thanks for joining me.